All right, so today I decided to change it up. I'm at a place called Rogues Comics here in Windsor. Um, they have all kinds of comic books, collectibles, all kinds of great stuff. Tons of people have been telling me I gotta go by here and check it out. So I'm gonna go in and see if they have anything uh, that I'm really looking for. Ideally, I'd like to find some old X-Men comics, so fingers crossed. Look at this place. Oh my God, they have so much cool stuff. Action figure heaven. This is crazy. Batman. Look at those. Original superpowers figure? Or is that a remake? I'm gonna look for some cool little comics today though, for sure. They might have the one I want. Ooh, Marvel Legends. That's insane. There's whole bins full of toys? Oh my goodness, this could get dangerous. So they do have individual toys. So there's $5 toy bins? And oh my god. So this is a $1 toy bin full of all kinds of Star Wars and comic stuff. Let's see if we can't spot any cool stuff in here. Where's the bat? That's cool. Anti Venom. Wow. Oh, Fisher Price Great Adventure figure over at that. Oh, I thought that was something else. Like a Mysterio from Spider Man. Oh, there's so much good stuff in here. Star Wars McDonald's toys. Oh my goodness. See if you can't find anything else. Really cool. So I found this. It's Daryl from The Walking Dead. And then this is a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. So I'm gonna get these two for sure to start. Oh, that's an Iron Man toy from Burger King. It's actually really cool. I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, it's a Viewmaster. Arceus. This is a Kenner Predator. That's Sialga. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sialga. My bad, yo. I love these pens. Kit Fisto. Dry. Yeah. There's actually a G.I. Joe part in here. That's really cool. So this next bin is a $2 bin. It's full of like bigger figures. What we're looking for is like old school McDonald's stuff or Star Wars The Force Awakens. Just random cool stuff. These are bullet point pieces. Okay, this is actually awesome. The Rancor pit with Luke and the guard. Oh my God. Peyton, look at that. It's Willy Wonka. 18 inch Willy Wonka doll. That is amazing. A whole bunch of Family Guy figures. That's crazy. Finally found a copy of it that I like. X-Men number 25, only eight bucks. If you know, you know. And then I got a bunch of other X-Men comic books for a buck each. So these are great. But I'm pumped about this. We're going to see if Wolverine 75 is here too. All right, well, I found Uncanny X-Men 304. So now I have two of the six that I need. Oh my God, I found the whole set of Fatal Attractions for 50 bucks. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. This is amazing. That's really, really cool. I wanted to ask him about these bands, like stuff in them, if they're priced a certain way. Yep. Cool. There's so many neat figures in here. I like these spawn ones though. I can't believe you did it. It's crazy. That's cool. 
Okay, so that was crazy. I found the whole Fatal Attractions X-Men series. Got a good price on it too. Uh, a bunch of other X-Men comics and a couple like old school figures, including this Iron Man uh, original wind-up toy, which is really cool. And that one, I think it was a buck. And then some uh, Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure parts, which I can always use. Fisher-Price Great Adventure figure. And there's something else I really wanted to go over. Um, where is it in here? A He-Man blind bag. So I want to open that up when I get home and see if I can't score either Orco or Skeletor. So it was definitely worth checking out. If you're ever in Windsor, you want to go to Rogue's Comics. It's on Chatham Street. You can Google it. They have a pretty sweet website as well. Anyways, stay tuned because I'm going to keep thrifting.